Ooh, today's a big day at Tracklandia. We've got our first Olympic medalist on the show. <laughs> you like that? Oh, I smell it. All right, our next guest is the American record holder in the steeplechase. He's run the fastest 1500 by an American on American soil. He's run 13.02 in the 5K. He's a world championships bronze medalist and an Olympic silver medalist in the steeplechase. Women want to be him and men want to be with him. <laughs> He's the one, the only, man with the golden bun, the steeples champ, Evan Jagger, everybody. Yeah. Take a seat. Uh, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming, Evan. Yeah, I'm excited. This is super cool. Yeah, there's you. Yeah, that's, that's me. Hey, uh, so you remember signing that baby in the grocery store? Yeah, I totally do. Yeah, I think I was picking up some burgers or something, and I was looking all runnery, full tights. Oh, yeah. Rain jackets, sweaty, like probably wet from rain, and... Yeah, I, the full tights in the grocery store. That like, I know, I know. I <laughs> swore I would never do it, and then I got. I just get super lazy, and I feel like Portland is just very accepting, and you just kind of get lulled into it. Yeah, you get. Yeah, I feel like ten years ago, that wasn't like that wasn't a thing. People were in tights to the grocery store, but then no. the whole running boom kind of happened, like the second. Very one, unfortunately. And, yeah. yeah, and it brought in the yeah, yeah. the tights again. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a great look, but yeah, yeah I, I went in and uh, this guy came up to me and he started talking to me and I was like, oh yeah, like nice to meet someone that enjoys running and he's like, can you sign something for me? I was like, yeah, sure. He's like, this is my grandson, <laughs> my son, he'd, he'd kill me if, if I did this in front of him, but can you just sign his hand? And I was like. This is really weird, but yes, okay. So it started out normal, and then it got kind of weird. Yeah, it started off, I mean, kind of normal, but yeah, yeah, it got really weird. <laughs> Have you signed any anything else that compares to that? Yeah, I mean, I've I've signed like a forehead or two. <laughs> I uh, signed a chests, and these are all high school boys. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hey, that's fine. What you yeah, do yeah. in a, yeah with a pen is your, your thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, when when did you know that this hair was going to be a thing for you? Like, when did you think, all right, I got something here. Let's just roll with this. Uh, I mean, I had long hair pretty much all of high school, and I think I cut it um, track season a sophomore year, and then junior year uh, I just let it grow and. I think I kind of always just liked having long hair, but I had a, like a really good cross country season. And uh, I think that was kind of when I started getting some notoriety and um, I think I had my first girlfriend then. So I was like, yeah, this must be like a good thing going here. So <laughs> I just <laughs> kept it going. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you can't change what works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's, wait, when, what year was that? When did that happen? Uh, that was junior year of high school. Okay. And I've had long hair ever since long hair ever since yeah because it used to be like the the down to here and then you got it the down oh yeah hair. i went i had bowl cut for like a long time growing up i had uh i had rat tail for like oh no way oh you yeah did. yeah i had the rat hair uh the the bowl cut rat hair rat tail combo for like a couple of years in like elementary school. Was that like a decision that you made? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, oh, my okay. parents like didn't stop me for some reason. <laughs> All right. They just let it go. I was like, okay. He's his own man. We're going to let yeah. him have a rat tail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, I went through phases of like buzzing my hair and let it grow back out. And then, uh, yeah, cut it sophomore year. And then just, it's been long ever since. Nice. Yeah. Well, it, it's uh, it's become a thing on, on T-shirts in the past. Like, where where did that whole uh, Jagger is my homeboy T-shirt yeah. start? Uh, that where? was probably that same year, like probably a junior, uh, junior or senior year of high school. That was a high school thing. Yeah. Um, I think I've got a. Oh no. What's this? Wait a second. We've got a mouse pad. Oh here. yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yeah, that's not a good haircut. <laughs> uh, that's all right. It's good. 
Yeah, that was probably the first one. Um, we had a, a pretty close family friend that was an artist. He is a really good artist. That's not like <laughs> the best <laughs> picture. But um, no, he's a really good artist. And I'm sure either my friends or my parents, I can't remember which, just wanted to make t-shirts. And he was super into it. And so they just kind of started it. Did it in high school a couple of years, junior year, senior year. I was obviously super embarrassed. Um, all my yeah. friends wore them down at state and cheered me on. But well, that's cool. Yeah, and, but it's continued. And because uh, yeah, I saw some at the trials. I think in like 2012 or something. Yeah, 2012, 2016, <laughs> I think, 2017. Yeah, it's uh, it's still going people waving mouse pads around at the trials <laughs> yeah it's pretty much just my parents <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> oh those are those people yeah yeah <laughs> nice yeah uh so well you've been at the front of american steepling for quite some time now what how many years has it been like five uh, seven six, seven years yeah so yeah i guess so Man, it's 2018, huh? Yeah, it's going, it's going fast. <laughs> yeah. Too fast. Oh, we're getting old. Uh, yeah. No, you still got a lot of time left. We're no, good. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, you, you in, the, in that race down in Rio in the yeah. Olympics, capped it off uh, with a silver medal there. Mm -hmm. When you knew that you were going to get that silver medal, at what point in that race did you feel, did you feel like that? Because it, was it down the home stretch? or? Yeah, uh, I don't think I knew... I had the silver in my hand until, yeah, probably that home stretch. Because um, I, I was still working on catching Kemboy over that last water jump. And uh, I think I went by him with about 100 to go, and he just didn't respond at all. So, um, yeah, I got obviously pretty pumped, uh, lifelong goal. And uh, yeah, but I, yeah, I think I probably knew that I. I 99% had like a medal in my hand, probably like three laps out, and that was that was a pretty cool feeling. But you had to stay focused there. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess definitely. in the steeplechase, right? Uh, like you're yeah. going over barriers yeah, and stuff. Yeah, definitely. There's water. Yeah, I've seen it. There's a lot of shit happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't know what can happen in a steeplechase. I do know what can happen <laughs> in a steeplechase. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Which that was an incredible race too. What we're talking about is Paris when you yeah. set the American record, uh, fast, probably the fastest time ever. Uh, falling. Falling. Yeah. 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 But uh, uh, that, what is that like running to run eight flat, and uh, and, and you know that there's there's more there's more in you. Yeah, I mean it's super disappointing. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean to go there. All yeah, right? I, was, I was putting a. Yeah, it was it was it was a re really weird um, mix of emotions. Uh, on one hand, um, like I had this super good opportunity to kind of go just finish the race and uh, do something um, that only like eleven guys have ever done in the history of the sport and. Um, no guys uh, born outside of Africa have ever broken eight. So that's obvious. That's been a huge goal of mine since I started sea Yeah, and, of course. Um, so like having it that close, like you could taste it and like just messing up that late in the race was pretty devastating. But uh, at the same time, um, that was kind of, that was for me like my coming out party. And that was when I kind of realized that, um, like, I deserve to run with the big boys now, and mm -hmm. um, that kind of opened my eyes up to what was possible for the rest of my career. So it, it was like, it was really good, but also like, terrible at the same time. Yeah. Well, I I'm glad you feel that way about it, that you feel good about it, because I know, like, yeah. coming from coming from me, it probably doesn't mean a lot, but I think that like <laughs> that showed a lot of people like, wow, this guy's the real deal. He can do that and run eight flat and. You, probably, you scared a lot of people when you did that. Yeah, it was, it was fun, but it was, it, <laughs> like, in the moment, um, running the race was super, super fun. Like, I've, I've never felt better in a race, I don't think. And, um, yeah, that came crashing down quick. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, right. still, it was still a good experience. Nice. Yeah. Let's, let's move on. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've run in Paris, and yeah. you've run in uh, Monaco, and you've run in Rio, and 
What's uh what's the coolest place that you've you've competed in? Uh I think Monaco is definitely my favorite stadium. Um, Why is that? It's it's this super very intimate uh track. Um not it's definitely not the biggest stadium I've ever been in. It's it's probably only like I don't know, like forty or fifty rows deep. Um just seats completely lining the stadium uh the audience is like they're right next to the track so uh it feels very intimate it's really loud um but also it's like it's one of the most beautiful places like i've ever been to oh, it's yeah. right on the mediterranean it's set on this like this like kind of cliff kind of comes down to the city and it's always perfect weather there so it, that's one of my and it's a super fast track like a lot uh -huh. of really fast times have been run there and um yeah that's one of my favorite um also berlin was berlin. super cool and yeah. that's the old olympic stadium the old there, olympic right? stadium yeah Man, massive I love old stadiums yeah they love their track there nice blue track i love blue tracks oh, yeah and, go blue right yeah yeah obviously a lot of history too so so you're a well you're a big chicago sports fan yeah growing up just outside chicago yeah so what do you think it would take to get American sports fans fired up about track. Um, Do you think you can get some of the, the Bears fans to jump on the track bandwagon? That would be tough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, one thing is I don't think track is like broadcasted all that well in the U.S. So people watch track once every four years pretty much so there's they're not just they're just not invested into it um i feel like i mean i get to watch bears games like i can find stream of every bears game if i want to even yeah. if it's not on tv here and i can watch bears game um every single week and that's pretty hard to do uh for a lot of track races and um that coupled with um when it is on tv it's not broadcasted great like marathons there's just minutes and minutes of the race just completely being missed i feel like most sure. of the time for the steeple there's usually like a four minute break in between an eight minute race a in the middle of an eight race. yeah so it, it's not great but um i think uh i think one of the things um byron track club does pretty well is uh, we have a lot of our pro athletes engaged with some BTC youth runners, um, and I feel like that'll be helpful. Like just having some sort of a connection with uh, the community and Grow the fan base. Exactly. Like yeah, and um, I don't know. Maybe maybe beer in the stadium. Oh, that'll help. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that helps. Yeah. <laughs> Get people a little rowdy. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, your group of friends from back home that you stayed in touch with, uh, they're big, like, football, baseball fan types. Yeah. They're your boys. Yeah. Like, they're the, the Chicago. Boys. Yeah, the boys. Yeah. <laughs> Chicago boys, sports fans. Oh, yeah, they're boys. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but they follow your career. Yeah, they do. And, uh, yeah, they, they watch your races. Yeah, so. surprisingly. I'm still, I'm, <laughs> yeah, like, in high school, yeah, they were into it because they could go to the, the meets. But, yeah, I'm, I'm they're still, like, texting me before pretty much every race like how how can i watch the race so I'm the like, boys just know without being told that uh yeah i think uh my my parents post a lot on facebook about oh, okay. my upcoming races so <laughs> that helps yeah so they'll get off of espn.com or whatever and then yeah look at facebook for a little bit yeah, yeah see yeah. when you're racing yeah nice yeah what do they think of your profession um <laughs> uh Be honest, come on what do the boys think they uh they make fun of me a lot. <laughs> um, it, I mean, one one guy in particular, you met him, Nick. He uh, he brings up, um, he says stuff all the time, like, oh, like, like we should we should go do this, but you know Evan, he'll just he'll just finish second or oh oh like they pull oh stuff. hinting at your silver there huh? yeah like oh, I, come on like I can't get the job done I can't get the gold so <laughs> oh jeez they uh, they poke fun at at that a lot and they just disregard like 
USA is and that kind of stuff because Olympics is the only thing that matters. To the, so, to the yeah, boys. Yeah, to the boys. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, obviously the short shorts, that's another thing. Um, you can fund <laughs> me for that. Um, yeah, pretty much, uh, I mean, they're, they're super supportive, but they also like, they make fun of me more than anyone else I know. So they- Well, you need that, keep you grounded, right? Ex exactly, I think that's what they're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, you need those boys in your life. Yeah. Yeah, I've got some. I mean, this show has just gotten so big, you know, and it's tough to. Dude, I uh, I understand. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got guys coming up to you asking for autographs, yeah, the grandchildren. Yeah, no. yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. My life's a zoo now. Yeah. Yeah. Signing babies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Signing whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just somebody give me something to sign already. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you and the boys. Uh, you were telling me that you had a. Um, a story you were out one night in Portland uh, down was it at the Dixie and you had a run-in with a celeb oh yeah yeah uh, this was a long time ago uh, this was yeah probably uh, 2010 11 um, my buddy Nick was out here and um, as boys do we went out to the, the bar and uh. Uh, we ran into Mark Cuban actually and the Mark Cuban the Mark Cuban uh, owner of uh, the Dallas Mavericks yeah and uh, they were in town playing the Trailblazers and I for some reason thought it would be a good idea to um, ask him if he wanted a drink <laughs> and he said yeah for some reason I don't know why and I was like oh okay and so uh, I went to the bartender and the first thing I could think of was uh, a Jagerbomb so, a bomb, a Jaeger bomb. Yeah. Not just a shot of Jaeger. No, Jaeger bomb. <laughs> and I gave him the Jaeger bomb and told him, You're welcome. And <laughs> so here's this Jaeger bomb, yeah. Mark Cuban. You're welcome. And he's like, Here you go, bro. Like, you're welcome. Uh -huh. And then uh, proceeded to grill him on um, getting into the track and field game. I told him he should yeah get invested in track and field and he probably completely disregarded that and immediately forgot about that because of the Jaeger. <laughs> because of the Jaeger oh yeah. yeah of course yeah I mean it, yeah I'm sure he was really interested in the yeah. yeah the concept like starting a track team down in Dallas yeah uh but yeah the Jaeger bomb it's just too enticing yeah that'll put people over the edge yeah um uh, obviously <laughs> yeah uh so yeah I mean uh, something I heard uh, is that you, well, you compare in steeplechasing, you've compared running up to the water barrier like doing a layup. Is that no. right? I have never said that. All right. I didn't. <laughs> All right. I have never said that. Okay. Do you know who said that? I, I think you're uh, confusing two different things. Well, wow. All right. And Jerry said that, but... <laughs> oh, okay, good. I wasn't totally off no, that, you, right? No, you weren't off. All right, no. good. Yeah. Um, Do you, you, don't, you don't think of it that way at all, though? No, definitely oh, not. Really? Uh, Jerry thought for some reason that uh, I might be good at the steeplechase because I looked athletic doing a layup. Oh, nice. And that's why I steeple now. That's why you started? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I mean, most runners aren't like athletic in that way, skilled. Can do layups. Yeah, can do, yeah. yeah. That's a tough thing to do if I know. you're a yeah. marathoner. I think. I, yeah, I think I made it look pretty good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think like looking at the steeplechase scene, it tends to be like a lot of scrappy guys, like guys who can hang in there, like just kind of grab on with their teeth. Tough guys. Uh, yeah, tough guys for. Not this guy. Well, yeah, I mean, I wasn't. Yeah, you you have like put a different kind of finesse and uh, and brought an elegance to the steeplechase that that wasn't there before. I appreciate. That. Yeah, are you thinking uh, when you're out there like, God, I'm just trying to run as smooth as I can. Yeah, um, I mean, I always just try to look as pretty as possible. And <laughs> oh wow, that's here here. I thought you weren't trying very hard. No, but. I try. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Nice. No, um, honestly, uh, a, lot of, a lot of that has to, um, I, I have to give credit to Pascal, my, our, our strength coach, and 
um, my steeple coach. He was an Olympian in the steeplechase in 2000, and um, he just drilled good form in, into my head um, the entire first year especially, but um, my entire career. Uh, we've been super focused on that, and um, yeah, I, I practiced hurdling multiple times a week every week for the first year. So I, I was hurdling two or three times a week um, from probably like October until um, throughout the track season, um, my first season steepling. And uh, yeah, I have to give a lot of credit to him. And uh, we've, yeah, we practice a lot. Yeah, you guys have got quite the crew over there now. Well, <laughs> yeah. <there's> a... <laughs> I honestly, yeah, I didn't think anything was, I didn't think we were gonna have a steeple crew for sure. Uh, my first year doing it, I thought I was gonna have to do steeple like by myself for the next ten years. Yeah. And well, you've made it cool in the U.S. and Now everybody wants to do it. Yeah. That's what it seems like. Yeah. Really? Oh, that's what. Yeah, what I gather. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Take it from me. Who knows? Yeah. But uh, this is. I reached out to some of your uh, your crew members over there and uh, just asked them if they had anything that they wanted to ask Which you about. Crew members? Oh, over at the BTC. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Are you a part of a different crew? That uh, well, my boys. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I no, would no. Be worried if my boys were asking. If they had questions for <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. Well, we've got a few here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one, uh, why is your nickname the American? Um, <laughs> uh, that, that started probably first or second year steepling. Um, we would, uh, either Dan Hewling or Ryan came up with it, or it didn't come up with it, but really started it. Um, we'd be like kind of going back and watching races together like of meets that we ran at so like we'd run at in uh, at prefontaine classic and like me dan and and andy bear would like all be in the steeplechase and then like ryan would be ryan and cd would be in the 5k and we'd rewatch and like just kind of critique the races and like after like two or three Diamond League meetings where uh, Tim Hutchings. Tim Hutchings. Yeah. He's got he, that gruff voice. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's a great commentator, English. Uh -huh. um, he would, he'd be commentating, and every time he talked about me, he'd, he'd say, this is the American, Evan Jaga. <laughs> and, yeah. and then, and Dan Hewling and Andy Bear. <laughs> and then he'd do this, the uh -huh. same thing with Ryan Hill and Chris Derrick. And the American Evan Jager, <laughs> and uh, we noticed that like after a couple of meets, and and then they just started calling me the American. <laughs> Here comes the American. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. Oh, this is a good one from Matt Hughes. Oh, uh, no. He says to rank the BTC men's team in order of most athletic to least athletic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> This is, yeah, this is a constant argument. Oh, really? Oh, oh yeah. Because, uh, I mean, we, we play sports together. We play games together. Um, and obviously, like, everyone thinks they're super athletic. Oh, and, sure. And with, with Jerry calling me athletic doing layups, it kind of, that probably sparked the conversation also. But um, So everybody knows where you stand. In Jerry's eyes, at least. Tops. Yeah, yeah for sure. No, if I, if I had to, if I had to say, um, so Dan thinks he's the most athletic because... Of course he does. Of course you he does. You hear that laugh out of the Yeah. <laughs> because Dan is really good at stuff like bags or cornhole, if you call it cornhole. Wait, that's athletics um, to him? Yes. Uh, <laughs> he's good at, like, frisbee golf. He's good at darts. Um, <laughs> I'm the most athletic yeah. in the group. <laughs> and uh, it kind of stops there. Uh, but I, I would have to say Hughes is probably the most athletic. Um, oh, this was his question, yeah. Yeah. Uh. He, I mean, yeah, he's, he can pick pretty much anything up. He's pretty good at a lot of stuff. He played hockey growing up. Uh, Canadian. Soccer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously. They do, yeah. Um, All right, well, who's, who are on the okay, bottom so, guys? Like, uh, the least athletic fellas. Um, Just hang them out there. Uh, probably Bumby. Ooh. Unfortunately. Oh, man. Well, 
Uh, CD used to be really athletic, but the, I think the marathon has probably taken a little bit of a toll. Is that on what him. happened? Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah. He, he's CD's pretty good at basketball. He's I think he's good at baseball. He seems like a real fundamentals guy. He's a fundamentals guy. Masters. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That that's I think that's if he had to classify himself. A lot of chess passes. <laughs> yeah. Bounce passes. Bounce even. passes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, so gosh, I might go Hughes. Um, I'll say myself. Okay. Oh. Um, it's humble. Yeah. Uh, uh, Josh Thompson. Uh, he played. Um, he played basketball at community college. So uh, I haven't seen much from him, but I think he's got to be pretty athletic. Um, he also claims to have dunked at some point. Oh, he's he, like a five nine guy, right? He's like five eight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's. Uh, I, I haven't seen it, but if that's the case, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> sure. Um, so I'll throw him up there. Uh, I think Ryan is, he's like sneaky athletic. Ryan Hill. Yeah. Um, I think most of the middle guys are all kind of, we're all just kind of throw a blanket o over us. Utility guys, yeah. Yeah. But I'd say, yeah, like Hughes on one end, Dan definitely on the other. Oh, you're going to put yeah, him down yeah, there, huh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, booked by the Stieflers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we've got a, a couple more questions for you before we let you go. But uh, going forward, uh, what do you hope to accomplish? Um, well, I would, I mean, I would love to finish off, like, the metal um, kind of collection. Because you've got a silver and a bronze. Yeah. So I'd, I'd love to get the gold. And then obviously I've wanted to break eight for forever. So mm -hmm. uh, breaking eight is still a big one. Um, and aside from that, in the, in the steeple, there's, there's not too much left. Yeah, uh, I'd yeah. say so. Another U.S. title, but I, I want to keep that streak going. Mm -hmm. um, is that a seven now? Seven right now, yeah. Nice. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And then I think... When I get those two boxes uh, checked off, I think uh, I'll be excited for kind of the future and um, calling up Mark Cuban again to see uh, yeah, what you guys can get together. off the ground. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure something. Go out. to Shark Tank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let me know. Let me know when that happens. Yeah, I'll probably bring you with me. Actually. Yeah, we could do a presentation somehow. Yeah. yeah. That's what we got for you, Mark yeah. Cuban. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, before you go, we've got to play a game with you. Okay. So, uh, we put I, this together. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm a little nervous too. I don't okay. know what this is all about. <laughs> okay. But, uh, we're going to bring Andy back up. Okay. Well, Evan doesn't know this, but, uh, he's playing for, uh, a Jager bomb shot. Oh, my <laughs> <gosh>. <laughs> I might just lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we, we call this game Jager Jeopardy. Um, not everything is about yourself. It's just, it sounds catchy. Mm -hmm. But I like we, have, it. we have three topics, running, shy town hair, based mostly on yourself, <laughs> entirely on yourself. Um, There's more to you than that, I yeah. think. But. So you, you pick your category, how many points you want to go for. There's a question behind it. Um, as soon as I finish the question, you guys have to, you know, just like Jeopardy, buzz in. Well, we um, just hit the table? I mean, we guess we could do that. I didn't really have time to go get buzzers. So I was <laughs> heck, panicking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Jay, you're a guest, our guest. Our guest, would you like to go first and pick the first category? How many points would you like to go for? Um, yeah, I'll go uh, running for three. Quality choice. <clears throat> okay, this runner won the 1500 and 800 double at the 2010 NCAA's, the first time in 26 years. Extremely handsome, loved by all. He overcame incredible, uh, uh, incredible odds. <laughs> Took down some of the most talented human beings on planet Earth. He is known for his height, charm, smile, muscles, strength, beauty, humor, <laughs> charm again, and his loyalty to the Oregon Ducks. Yes, Evan, that's you. Uh, is it Matt? You better. Yeah, you you better. Really. You, yeah, uh, that's absolutely right. I didn't even know that one, man. <laughs> that's a long one. Uh, great job. Wow. Three, three points for Evan. So wow, again. good yeah, work. Get to go again. That was a tough one. Was, yeah. <laughs> they write those interns write those things detailed. Yeah, is that how this is going to be? <laughs> so, Evan, you want you to go again? Um, I'll go Shy Town three. Shy Town three. Uh. 
All right, born in Chicago, this Hollywood actor is best known for his lead roles in Blade Runner, Indiana Jones, and Star Wars. Who is this actor? At all. Really? What? <laughs> well, you what hit is it. This? Wait, what? do I? Did you buzz in? Mm. Oh, is the premature buzz? Oh, can I do Harrison it? Ford. Oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's absolutely correct. Wait. It's Harrison Ford. Who, who, if we win, who gets the shot? <laughs> <laughs> this is a good question. It's a very valid point. Uh, yeah. The... The winner decides who gets the shot. Okay. There we go. That's fair. Well, you <laughs> might want to try. It. Oh yeah. Please. <laughs> you might want to try a little bit, Jeff. <laughs> uh, Evan, yeah, you're still up. Uh, hair for three. Hair for three. <clears throat> His original name is Scott Thompson. He's been in various movies, but is more of a stand-up comedian. He is known by his stage name and his super curly red afro hair. Who is this me? Oh! Carrot Top. That is absolutely correct. Yeah. It is Carrot Top. I didn't know his name was Scott. Well, better know Scott his character. Thompson? Scott Thompson, huh? Hmm. All right, Jeff. Okay. Do I get to keep this one? You can keep that right in front of you. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, oh, I'm nervous now. Jeff knows the rules. Uh, I will go with Chi Town for one. Chi Town for one. That doesn't seem tough. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I've never played this game before. <laughs> it's true. Jeff has no idea how this goes. <laughs> this stadium is second oldest in its sport and is home to the 2016 World Championship Chicago Cubs. Oh, come on. <laughs> Wrigley. Wrigley Field. Field is absolutely correct. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hmm. That's uh, two left. That's okay. Okay. Uh, let's go running one. Running for one. Oh, think. it's the Daily Double. Oh. It's the Daily Double. Now, the way this works, we've got our little timer here. I'll give you each 30 seconds. These are point, a point apiece, six questions, six potential points. So, Jeff, we'll have you go first. Do I have to do anything? You have to just sit here and listen to you. <laughs> I'm going to read the question. Oh, okay. You can answer, pass. You're the man with all the answers. I hold the power. Get it? This is Jeopardy. Oh, because it's Jeopardy. It's up. Yeah, it's correct. Yeah. All right. You ready? <laughs> yeah. All right. At 59 feet, eight and, eight and three quarter inches, who has the triple jump American record? Christian Taylor. That's correct. True or false, over one billion running shoes are sold over worldwide every year. True. That is correct. She won two world cross-country titles without wearing shoes. Who was she? Uh, Zola Bud. That's correct. When was the first annual New York City Fifth Avenue Mile? 1980. 81. Oh! Yes. Who is the 2,000 meter American record holder? Uh, Steve Scott. Jim Spe Spite, Spivey. Oh, Spivey. Spivey. Um, that is time, but for, good, just for fun, how far did Bill Rogers run in one hour to set the American record? Uh, Any guesses? 12.7. You're not serious. Yeah. Is that really a guess? Yeah. Oh my God, that's absolutely correct. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, don't you, don't you round up there? 12.77. Yeah. It's almost an El Dorado. Is that really a guess? <laughs> wow. Oh, I am not. Oh, I'm good at this I'm game. Not huh? <laughs> I'm not excited. I'm not excited. Did you get only get, did you only get three? I think so. I don't know Two, how four, this six. works. Daily double. Daily double. Mm. So I'll give you double points. Mm. Okay, mm. Evan. This is not good. How many points does he have right now? I have six, seven. seven. Mm. Daily double for two, two, four, six, nine. Oh, mm. nine. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, Evan. This is this could be for the game. Yeah. All right. For thirty seconds. Who is the American record holder in the steeple chase? Uh, Evan Jager. Evan Jager. He runs the for the Bowman Track Club. He's a PR of three twenty nine ninety seven fifteen hundred. Who is this athlete? Uh, Lopez Lamont. Evan Jager. Wait, 329. 332. 332.97. Oh, I uh, thought you said. That's what I heard, too. Who, I heard won, who won a silver medal in the Rio Olympic Games in steeplechase? Evan Jager. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> who has won the, at least the last seven U.S. championships in steeplechase? Evan Jager. Oh, my God. <laughs> True or false? Evan Jager is better known as, oh, my God, he's totes cute. You should tote talk to him. Ew, no, Karen, go talk to him. You're scared. Ew, T T Y L Maze Balls. <laughs> that's, that's definitely false. False. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, finish this sentence. Jeff, you stink. How could you let our guest beat you? We rigged this game, and somehow you still managed to let blank beat you. I think that's you. That's, 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 uh, that's, uh, yeah. Blank beat you. 
I think you just won. So yeah. It's I don't you. think I need to finish this question. Oh. <laughs> All right. We know who won. Then. I think wow. so. Where? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right, Evan. Thank you very much for yeah. coming out today. It's thank been a you, pleasure. guys. Yeah. And thank you to fun. all of you for coming out to Tracklandia. Uh, thank you to Downstream. Thank you to Portland Track for uh, allowing us to do this for as long as uh, they will let us do this. <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Uh, have a great evening, everybody. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs>